Why do gorillas have big nostrils? Because they have big fingers. Ugh. Balloon Animal Lesson number 74. Hello, Balloon World. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and today I want to teach you how to make a fancy character bracelet. This is perfect for when somebody wants a character, but you don't have time to twist one from scratch. You can use an already printed balloon and put it on a flower bracelet. Little girls love Elsa, and little boys love Spider-Man. And the great thing about prints is they come in all characters, from Batman to Hello Kitty. Since everyone loves Elsa right now, I'll be using her. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you're going to need three balloons. I'm going to be using a white 260 for the flower bracelet. I'm going to be using a light blue 260 for the flower band. And for the prints, I'm going to be using an Elsa light blue 5 inch heart. If you're wondering where do you buy the prints from, I buy mine from tmyers.com. There'll be a link in the description, but they have all kinds of characters. So check them out. We're going to start with our flower bracelet. Get your 260 and inflate it about halfway. Let some air out and tie. Give it a nice stretch and a squeeze to make sure it's soft. The first thing we're going to make is a small flower petal. Fold the balloon over, hold onto the knot, squeeze the petal, and twist it. Make sure you hold onto that knot so it doesn't come undone. Then move the flower petal to the inside of your palm and hold onto that knot. The reason I moved the flower petal over here to the inside of my palm is it allows me to hold onto it with these fingers, freeing up my pinching fingers, and I have this hand free to twist the rest of the flower petals. To make the rest of the flower petals, fold the balloon over just like you did with the first one. You're gonna to wanna to squeeze it. I can now pinch it with my free fingers and twist it. Then I move this balloon over, and now I move those two to the inside of my palm. And you just keep repeating that. I normally do six flower petals, but you can use however many you like. So far I have two, so I need four more. How many is that? That's four, I need two more. I found this method the quickest for making the flower petals, and it makes them all about the same size. Now we need to straighten up our flower petals. Arrange them so that they all lay next to each other, nice and even. We don't need the rest of this so we can pop it off. If you're afraid of this coming undone, take that slack and go ahead and wrap it in the flower petals a couple of times. And there we have our flower petals. Next, we inflate our character print. Get your balloon and inflate it all the way. You want to make sure that it's fully inflated. If it's a heart, make sure that you can see the dimple in the middle. Tie it. But make sure to leave yourself a long piece of slack because we're going to use this to tie it into the flower. Hold your flower in one hand. Take your print with the slack. Slip the slack between two of the petals and then through the other side and back down again. You shouldn't need to wrap it up any more than this. Unless, of course, you have a little kid that likes to untwist balloons. If that's the case, then wrap it up a couple more times. Next is the band that goes around the wrist. Get your 260 balloon. Don't inflate it at all. Blow a little air into it just to puff inflate it. It should be like a noodle, nice and firm. Tie a knot to keep the air from coming undone. Bring the two ends together. Tie those ends in a knot. And you should now have this loop that we're going to use as our bracelet. Next, we're going to attach our bracelet. Wrap it right into the middle, just like we did with our character print. Slip it through the flower petals and out the other side and back down again. And there we have our bracelet. If you're giving this to a little kid, the bracelet might be too big. If that's the case, take it, stretch it out, wrap it around the flower petal a couple of times. And this will make it smaller so it will fit their wrist. And there we go, one character print on a flower bracelet. I'm curious what you guys think. Is this the kind of thing you'll use? Do you already do this? I'm a fan of character prints. It's a very convenient way to make a character, especially when you're in a rush. Let's talk in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button. And if you want more balloon animal stuff, subscribe to my channel. I do balloon animal lessons on Mondays. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister, reminding you that anything can be made out of balloons.